Oh yeah, bet. I'm uh, switching out the, the uh, my brake rotors with some stop techs that I got, and they're drilled and slotted. And I got new pads too, so I'm gonna be switching all that stuff out, at least up front. You get some like Muteki lug nuts. Yeah. Cool color ones or something. Yeah, these are just the ones that uh, uh, Best Tire gave yeah. me because mine weren't the right ones. I didn't know you got stop tech pads too. Yeah. I thought you just got the rotors. Yeah, they came with the rotors. Are you gonna change those out too? Yeah, and then these ones are new. I swapped out kind of recently, yeah. but I'm just gonna keep those uh, like in the back. Backups. Yeah, so if I ever wanna switch them out without um, buying new ones. You forgot to mention you're getting stop tech pads. That's cool, that makes a big difference. Yep. Other than, I mean, rotors make some difference, but just having the rotors with the pads helps a lot. So, doing your rotors is pretty simple. You first just have to take off your caliper right here. And there's two 17 millimeter bolts, at least for 9th gen Honda Civic Si and Acura ILX, the 12 to 14, I believe. There's two 17 millimeters on the back. Once you take those out, this whole caliper will fall off. Um, you don't have to do that if you're just changing out the pads. There's other bolts you can take off to where it'll just pull off this part. So you can leave this whole thing in. But uh, since I'm changing out the calipers, I'll need to take, or changing out the rotors, I'll have to take the whole thing off. So I'm gonna need something to hold the caliper. Uh, when you take the caliper off, you don't wanna hang it by the uh, brake line because it will uh, disrupt the fluid inside and I don't know if it'll create air bubbles, but it will make your uh, brake pad feel spongy so it won't grab as well. So you'll want to rest it on something while you're doing this. That's the 17 mil, so you just have to look for that one when you're doing it. So there's one up top and then one down below. So there you go, it just pulls off after you take those two off. And I'm actually gonna take this part of the uh, brake line off the coilover so I can just give it more room.
Hi Skinny. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, you stay in here. Good boy. Stay in the yard. Alright. So after you get your caliper off, there's going to be a screw that holds the rotor on. Well, it looks like there's two on mine. This one right here, and that one down below. Take those off and you should be able to just pop the caliper off or the rotor. Hi, buddy. I'm just wondering how I'm going to get enough leverage to take this off. All right, so Bo went inside or went out back to finish mowing the lawn. But there you can see I got the screws out right there with a little bit of help from Dad because one of them started to strip out. Where are you? That guy right there. You see it's, uh, it's not focusing, but yeah, it's stripped out kind of. So I'm gonna just run with one of those. Technically you don't even have to use any of them because your wheel will be pushed up against here and when you tighten down the lugs, it'll keep the wheel and the uh, rotor on. But after you get those taken off, your rotor can just pop out. Kinda hard doing this with one hand. There we go. You can see there is the dust shield. May need to bend that a bit just because it looks kind of warped. But yep, yeah. and then these are Stop Tech calipers. Or I keep saying calipers, rotors. Drilled and slotted. And I mean my car isn't that fast, so I don't need to break a whole lot better, but they do clean up the end quite a bit and there they are you can see this one is labeled for left because they are directional so you will have to pay attention to that when you're putting these uh, new rotors on you'll have to be careful not to touch the surface area just because your oil and grease from your hands will get off onto it and before you put these on you want to clean them with some type of um, some type of cleaner there's lacquer thinner. Get some on a towel. Wipe it down. Just to get anything off the surface. You want to do that both sides, back and front. Make sure not to touch the rotor in the meantime. And there we go. Hulk, you get over here, buddy. Our pups came back outside. Yeah, we'll be there. there we go. Scooter you drive out. go make sure not to over tighten these just in case you want to change those out in the future just get a little decently tight and that's it I'm done with that side I'm gonna put the caliper back on swap out the uh, brake pads there's Bugsy again and I'm actually gonna do the other side first before I switch out the brake pads all right so I finished both sides you can see now with the wheel on and it looks a lot better. I see. Yep. I like it. I'm happy. I like it a lot. Only thing you have to worry about is stripping the screws to take the rotors off because those are sometimes put on real tight. So just heat them up with like a torch and it shouldn't give you too much trouble. What's up guys? Riggs Motorsports back in another video or we might just be adding this onto another video that we filmed but right now I am working on my ILX a little bit well not really working on it uh, just changing out the muffler and what that entails so 
You can see this is the muffler that came with the exhaust I bought, the DC Sports Catback Exhaust. And I got this new muffler from K-Tuned. The pie cuts, that really looks really nice. A lot better than just the whole piece of steel. So it has the pie cuts, so it, that's gonna make it look awesome. And it has a K-Tuned etching in it. So I'm gonna get dad's help with this. So we're just gonna start cutting this because we're gonna have to cut this flange off to weld onto the back of that exhaust so I can uh, mount it onto the exhaust. Or sorry, cut this off to weld onto the muffler so I can hook it onto my exhaust. But I started to cut it a little bit and realized that this would be a good video. So about a third of the way done. And it is 90 degrees today, so gotta get that ginger rail on deck. So I got the piece flattened out. So the bottom is flat, so we can weld it flat. Uh, makes sense. So I'm just going to cool it off in the hose right now, and then I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel so I can clean off any of the shit that accumulated on it while it was on the car. And then after that, we should be able to begin the welding. Well, at least tack it up and see if it fits well. All right. Let the light adjust, and I am super sweaty because I sweat super easily, and it's like 90 degrees, as I said before. Okay, now I just gotta clean off this table because it is a mess. All right, I got it relatively clean. Ow! Oh, that interesting just hit my ankle. Yep, just use the wire wheel on this side. And for those of you who don't weld, I'm gonna have to clean off the inside and the outside, just because if there's any contaminants, then it doesn't weld right, and it won't look good or sound good. So it's the next day, I got the muffler put on. The underneath doesn't look as pretty, but I got it put on. Uh, it sounds really good. I'll probably include a exhaust clip at some point, see if you guys can notice any difference. Uh, but for today, I found my OEM nuts, or no, bolts for the exhaust. And these are to keep it so when the engine moves, the exhaust won't move, because it'll give it, with this spring, it'll give it the ability to flex. So that way I'm not gonna have any engine or exhaust rattling or have any pipe crack just because uh, that can happen if stuff is too stiff. So I'm just gonna get underneath, unbolt the old ones and put these OEM ones back on. So with my exhaust, where the nut, or so where the bolt goes through on my car, so you can thread the nut onto it so you can connect the exhaust pieces. There is a spot where this little ridge hits on it because this exhaust is an OEM, so it's not going to account for that ridge. So I'm just going to grind it down a bit and uh, that should allow it to fit. And then from there, I will be able to put it on and keep my exhaust from rattling. So I finished the uh, putting the bolts on with the spring springs on them. And the other day, like I said, I finished putting the muffler on. So we can show you that right now, and then we can do a film clip. 
but it's not exactly on center. But we ordered more stainless steel to weld that extension on because the other piece is just regular steel. And my dad said he didn't do the greatest welds on it. So we're gonna redo that, but it's on for now. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notified and uh, continue watching, I guess.